the other video and this is day 6 of Adobe XD. Yes, I know a lot of people are about to comment on my comment section. Hey, day 6 was yesterday, you are behind one day. Now let me just explain what is going on. Now, yesterday I was spending some time with Adobe XD. I created some stuff, but it was not really that good or honestly, I didn't learn anything new in Adobe XD. That was all just boring design. Even the layout that I created was not that much good. I was just kind of okay with it, but I won't be using that anything. Now, since we are already on day six, I just stop want to uh, just play around with Adobe XD. I want to create some legit designs which can be used somewhere. So I want to move into the design era where it should be cleaner, one single color or just couple of colors, follow a color palette and move into professionally with that. And yesterday I failed miserably in doing that. So just for the sake of posting the content, I don't want to add a video. In case I'm doing anything new, learning something new, I just want to add for that only. So with this, let's get started. And today's video is more over a challenge video. I will not walk you through with the exact design process. I'll just give you a, a kind of a design here and I would invite you to just do something in it or maybe exactly something like this or add new screens in it. Let me just show you what it is. is. Uh, notice here that we are having some of the get started pick and I forgot to add these star icons in all of them. But again, no big deal, we can do so. And then what we can do is we have some of the uh, uh, photos here. Uh, I did learn one more thing about these photos, which is pretty crazy. And then you have this. Now notice here on this pick, the girls are playing, uh, they are doing exercise. And when you click on that, this is the detailed screen of it. You can go back again and can come back in here again. And now here you can have some of the details about it, some of the funny text lines, then some lorem ipsum text, some AA text or something like that. So this is what I have created. And also one section which I'm not really happy or I'm satisfied with it is the bottom bar. Yes, the color is pretty decent, but the way I'm highlighting the things, it's not something good. So the news is here. And if you go back, I'm highlighting the first one. These are just random ones. So I'm not so happy with this. Probably uh, this should be more brighter, maybe black. I tried the black, but not so good. So let me know what your design is and how you can have it. Now let me explain some of the things that I learned today in Adobe XD, which are pretty fun and crazy. So we can just close down this guy. Okay, uh, first and foremost, what I did here was, uh, let me just grab it back. And this is again, repeat grid, we have learned about it. And probably I forgot this guy to include in all of it. So I'm gonna just do command G or command, uh, or group them together. And now I can just select them again and I can use my repeat grid. And this time, hopefully, yep, yeah, this time it's getting better. So there we go, we do have now, again, I used a little bit box here so that uh, my design actually, design should not go actually edge to edge uh, sometimes. Some of the app really uh, needs it, but this one I don't think so it's gonna have it. Now notice here, as soon as we go back here, uh, the icons are here are now the same because it's a repeat grid. Uh, but I'll show you some of the very cool trick that I learned today. And also one more thing that I would like to mention here is this time I have used a lot about the symbols here. So in case you go up here, uh, make sure you add all these symbols and palettes in your color palettes. Like for example, this is the color that you want to have. Uh, so just select this color, particular one, and just click on this colors. It's kind of a good habit that you just create your own palette so that whenever you need that, you can just click on it and that is available. Similarly, you can add character styles. Let's just say you like this particular style or this particular style. This one is actually already uh, a character style. So you can just click on it. And whenever you need anything new, you can just drag and drop this guy. So you can just apply these styles. For example, just for the sake, you want to apply these styles on this one. You can just click on this and there we go. Okay, come on. And we can just click on this and these entire styling, uh, your colors, fonts, borders, shadows, whatever you have done is gonna apply it on that. So I have used that one pretty much in here. I'm gonna do Command Z a couple of times because I like this one. The font I've used is one of my favorite is Avenir. It's pretty nice. It's one of the Apple font, but I like it. I liked it. And this design is pretty generic. It's not about it's for just for iPhone or for Windows. It's a generic design. Moreover, the material design. So that's what we are having. Okay. Now, one more trick that I learned today was is it's pretty cool actually. I'm super fan of it. Previously, we were downloading these. Uh, photos on a folder and then dragging and drop, but I just for the sake I tried it like this. So for example, if we want to have it, just click and drag it just up here. And there we go, it's up here. 
And what you can do extra is you can just select this particular icon and then you can just drag and drop another photo and there we go so you can have it and uh, what i need to do is ungroup all of them so that i can place different photos in all of them so let's pick up some of the photos uh red pretty good it's gonna look awesome uh really really cool expression i like it there we go let's explore a little bit more oh dude looking so good okay and uh, Yep, old man, I believe from India or from Pakistan. Uh, looks, we look same. So, and this girl. So, there we go. Make sure you have ungrouped them. Okay, there we go. So, how easy it was, it was to fill up all these things. Uh, again, I forgot this one. So, what we can do is we can bring this guy back. And uh, this dude uh, needs to go. So, this is the dude that we have used. So, just click and drag it here. And there we go. And we can adjust so that face is a little bit visible. And we are going to just go like that. Just perfect. Okay, let's try to preview that. And this is one of the very cool tricks that I've used. So, okay, it's, it's gone actually. I need to link that again. So in the prototype, you can just select this one, double click again, select this one, and there we go. And it should be slide left. And uh, there we go, looks good. And this one is slide right. There we go, okay, and happy with it. Click that, and there we go, nice and easy transition. We can have more screens for this one, but in the design, we don't actually make individual screens for every one of them. It's just for the concept that this is how it's gonna look like. And the programming, we use dynamic things to just fill it up with these contents. Pretty good and pretty impressive. And what I would like to do here is a challenge to in front of all of you is we do have a couple of more things. We have a friend tab and we have a profile tab. In the profile tab, you know exactly what's gonna come up. Uh, there should be a circular icon for a person and then some detail, uh, kind of a name, email, birth, and something like that. And, and in this friends, you know what? Instead of friends, uh, I'm gonna make it a settings icon. I know settings should be at the right here, but just, uh, I know this should, this doesn't really make sense, but uh, we will be making a setting icon in the next video. Come on, let me. Setting. Okay, so this is going to be our setting icon. I will try to make a setting icon. You also try that some of the settings up here. And profile should be a profile, a picture of that name, email, username, probably Facebook link and all these things. However creative you want to have. So that's it. It was a pretty good day. I'm super happy with today's progress because I was able to nail it down as a clean design. Uh, and the time that I took was really, really less. So I hope you are also enjoying this Adobe XD. Take this challenge and don't forget to post 30 days of Adobe XD. Uh, hashtag 30 days of XD uh, on my Instagram, on my Twitter. I am not super active on Twitter. So yeah, I'm a Facebook guy still. So that's it for this video. And I hope you are also learning this Adobe XD. And let's catch up in the next video. Together, we're going to design this settings uh, page for this particular app.